<laughs> hey everyone, Santos here and welcome back to Santos Talks. Today we're going to be talking about the NHL and specifically these two deals that have happened recently. The first one being between Ryan Kessler and the Anaheim Ducks. Ryan Kessler signs with the Ducks for 7 years, $41.2 million, which is fantastic. Great, great deal for the Ducks because Ryan Kessler is everything you want in, the, in a player. He's on the power play. He's on the penalty kill. He wins faceoffs, and he's a leader. He's a great overall player. And another reason why this is a great deal is because last year, Anaheim was able to lock down Corey Perry and Ryan Getzloff. So now we've got these three core group of guys for the next seven years, a young team that complements them really well, and it's going to be great to see how this pans out. Ryan Kessler had 47 points last season, which is great for a second-line center. And mind you, he's only the second-line center because Ryan Getzloff is the first. So this is great. I'm super excited to see how this pans out for Anaheim. They're already a force to be reckoned with, and for the next seven years, they're still going to be a force to be reckoned with. So I'm super excited to see how this works out. The second deal we're going to be talking about is between Ryan O'Reilly and the Sabres. Ryan O'Reilly and the Sabres sign for seven years, $52.5 million. He's 24 years old and he got $52.5 million. That's more than Ryan Kessler and Ryan Kessler is an established player. So this is a huge risk for the Sabres. They're putting almost all their eggs in one basket and hope this pans out. And Ryan O'Reilly, he's a young guy, and like any young person with $52 million, it can go one of two ways. We have option one, where he stays smart, he grows at his craft, and he stays disciplined, and he just continues to learn. Or we have option two, which is he acts like any 24-year-old with $52 million. And so far, it looks like he's going towards option two. Recently, Ryan Kessler, Ryan Kessler sorry, uh, Ryan O'Reilly buys himself a green truck, green Chevy truck, and parades it around on Instagram. He's super proud of it. Great for him. Anybody who's super proud of something is going to show it off. So one day, one night, he decides to get into his car at 4 in the morning, drunk, and he drives into a Tim Hortons. Luckily for him, no one was injured. Unlucky for him is jump driving was his first mistake. His second mistake was fleeing the scene. He leaves the scene and they find out that the truck is his, that it was him who drove into the Tim Hortons. So now there's talk about what's going to happen with Ryan O'Reilly. What should happen with Ryan O'Reilly? Personally for me, I think that there's no need to make a martyr out of him like uh, like, hap like has happened with the NFL. I think that he should get what any normal person would get for their first offense with a drunk driving incident. Again, no one was injured, so he doesn't need, I, I don't see the, the need to have him go to jail or anything. So I think definitely think he should get a suspended license, he should pay a fee, and he should take a destructive driving course. And hopefully, he learns from his mistake. And for the Sabres' sake, hopefully he does. You know, the Sabres really need this investment to pan out. And if he learns from his, if Ryan O'Reilly learns from his mistake, this, I have no, no doubt about it that it will pan out. So again, for the Sabres' sake, hopefully he learns from it. And that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think about these two topics and any other things that you that happened in the NHL recently that you want to talk about. Remember, post in the comments below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.